If there's anything I would never ever buy again, camping gear, it is a cheap version of this. Here are 10 things that I would definitely buy again and this is a great wish list. Stuff you can buy people who are outdoorsy and you don't know what to get them, this is the list. Some of these items I've used for a very long time and I'd like to think that my credibility and my travel experience and camping experience will give you guys some great ideas for yourself but possibly even for gift ideas. I've timed this just before Christmas starting with items under $150. I like good tasting coffee. This does not leave my vehicle. This is the Mocha. In fact, I've got one in each of my vehicles. And speaking of coffee, let's go make some. Stuff the old pod machine. You want a good tasting coffee? Get something like this. The Mocha consists of three separate parts. This is where you put your water in. Up to that level, coffee grinds in here, plonk that there, screw the lid on, heat it up gently. And you'll know when it's ready because it'll start pouring out here. Would you like a coffee? Hell yeah. Well give us a cup then. Oh ho ho. This program temporarily interrupted. This is a mocha, it's 40 bucks. The coffee tastes absolutely amazing. I absolutely love starting fires with steel and flint. Ferro rod. Couple of reasons why I like starting fires like this. It is so fun, so liberating, it's so cool. Recently I took a couple of mates out to a salt lake and I got them to light a fire like this. For the first time, they were so stoked. The other thing, if you're out in a bush and you get stuck for whatever reason, you have one of these with you, you have the confidence. You can light a fire anytime. This is a homemade job. Here's a replacement for my homemade job. This is called the Mag Strike. It's well used, as you can see. 40 bucks, won't break your pocket. Honestly, hundreds of times I have struck this part. And that's what it looks like when it's brand new. So it'll last quite a while. This doesn't have any sharp bits. You can't cut your finger on it. When you use this one, you've got to use the back of your knife, otherwise you're blunting your knife. Now, I have had one of my kids before accidentally cut their finger by having the knife like this, and they put their thumb. You strike it like this. In fact, there's a couple of ways. You can push it forward like that, or you can pull this back like this. There we go, look at that. I don't care what age you are, great sense of achievement to start a fire. My kids love it. And this is a safe way of doing it. 40 bucks, won't break your pocket. We'll put a smile on every camper space. The next item on that list of stuff that never ever leaves my vehicle and I always have and I value it so much is the armrest. I've used something similar for like 11 years. This is brand new. This is a redesign by myself. I've added pockets. The zip pocket here holds fuel receipts. I've added a torch holder pen holder, and I've added some Velcro so you can put patches or say if you've got a lighter, for example, with some Velcro on it, you can stick it on there. The thing is, with a 70 series Land Cruiser, there's nowhere to put your elbow. This is a handy companion. It fits the FJ Cruiser, a GU Wagon, Hilux, any 70 series. Perfect companion and will suit most vehicles, especially with a skinny window sill. Even better, if you like to get to your window controls, this isn't getting in your way like some of the longer ones are. Disclaimer, this is also a shameless plug for myself. In fact, you can buy it on YouTube right now by clicking the shop button down below, just down there, and it'll open up a shop on your right hand side or your left hand side while you're watching the video. Going up in price here a little bit. One of my absolute favorite things around camp at night, this is an Ebo Lantern. I've used it for over a year. I've got two of these, one in each vehicle. Absolutely awesome. It's not offensively bright, but you can make it bright. It's got red function. You got bright, you got medium, you got low. Best of all, red light, which retains most of your night vision keeps most of the bugs away. It's not offensively bright in your face. It has a phone charger on it. You have this inside your swag or your tent or your rooftop or whatever it is you stay in, whatever device you may have, maybe a head torch, you could charge that through here. Collapsible. I absolutely love this thing. I've replaced my other lantern and my other lantern before that. Can hang it, 
the Nebo Lantern. Very random, but this is probably one of my favorite items that I use all the time. They have evolved over time. This is a front runner box, Wolfpack Pro disclaimer. Yes, I do work closely with front runner. It's the only item on the entire list I have a discount link for. It's so versatile and it seals so well. In the big high country, we had to squeeze a knife in between to release the seal because of the altitude change. At the end of the day, it's just a plastic box. I think roughly $65 plastic box, but it's the lightweightness, it's the versatility, the strength of it. Just don't put a hot camp oven on it like I have. It's also the accessories that come with it. So you can clamp it down on your roof rack like I have on the, on the Troopy. Really handy. This is a high lid, just so you know. The normal ones you'll see have the low lid on them. With the high lid, you can fit a bit more in. Awesome box, highly recommend it. That was under 150 bucks. Now, 300 bucks. Everyone knows I love collecting axes. But did you know that I also like collecting knives? And this is just a touch of my knife collection. I figured you guys would be pretty keen to see the rest of my knife collection. And I've got some real interesting ones. This one here was made by a friend of mine who's a blacksmith. I've got a whole bunch and that's not even all of them. There's a lot scattered through at home and through the vehicles. Knives, I don't go to bush without. I use them for all kinds of stuff. So which is my favorite knife? And that's gonna change every month or two or whenever I buy another knife, someone gives me one as a present. I'm a collector. My current favorites are these two. These are both Evoke knives, simply just a fold knife, great for the bush. Which of these two is the best option? I reckon this one is, is more practical, although this one feels better in your hand. This one's more practical if you're gonna shove it in your pocket. It's a bit thinner and it sits quite well in the pocket. Unless, of course, you want a sheath which you can attach to your belt, then this number here is probably the one. However, this one is not under 300 bucks. So let's put that aside. This one is under 300 bucks. The metal Evoke, the reason why I like this one so much as well is because it's red. It matches my 79 series. These are rechargeable. This one is from the Troopy. This one is from the 79, which is the Franklin Pivot. And by pivot, it pivots. This has become super handy when it comes to vehicle repairs. Pretty horrible sound that is. Oh yeah, it's working its way out. You can magnetize it, and this is giving me good light underneath where I was working on my 79 when the wheel happened to come off and I had the knockout wheel studs. This was so damn useful. Oh, that one. The other one is called the Sly King 2K. Very similar, just bigger, brighter, also has the red function. Both of these have seriously good magnets. They will stick to anything, even sideways. They will even stick to the point where you can pull this out and get the lantern happening. Working on your vehicle, really handy as well. This will stick to your chassis underneath and it doesn't fall off. I rarely use a head torture camp. I do have some, but I rarely use them. I just get these out. I'll magnetize it to the side of the Troopy or the side of the 79 in the Franklin case. Use them as lanterns. I'm all about lanterns. The best part for me is the red light function. It attracts less bugs, but also retains your night vision. If both these torches did not have red function, I wouldn't be interested at all. My torches have to have a red function. Communication is an important thing and I never go anywhere without two-way radios. This always stays in the car. The kids use them at camp. If I need a spot or if I'm going for a bit of a walk, I'll bring the radio with me. But not only that, in the Troopy in particular, I've only got one fixed mount of radio. The second radio will serve as channel 40. Road works, any truckies want to talk to me, I want to overtake a truckie, want to overtake a caravan, providing the caravaners have their radio on, that's where that radio comes in handy. So you don't need to have two fixed radios in your vehicle. This one's quite expensive. And like I said, under 300 bucks, look at something like this. This is my old three water. You can get this same version as a five water. And I've had this thing here over 11 years, possibly 12 years. And to this day, they still work. And the only thing that has happened, I've snapped the clip off this one. And you can actually replace those, which allows me to tell you that this is quality that's gonna last you a long time. You're not gonna waste your money on this. After 11 years, that's pretty good. And if you don't have a two-way radio, 
it's going to be the perfect gift for someone don't need to have a fixed radio in your car this can get you out there simple as that these are called jet ball for a reason they ball water really really fast don't ask me how long that took but it was quick. I use this to cook rice in, or actually reheat rice as I buy the packets that are pre-done. I've done pasta in it though, so it's handy for when I'm cooking for kids because they don't always eat what I eat, so I can just quickly whack it in there. You can get special frying pans and stuff for it, which I have dilly-dallied with in the past. I didn't really like those. As a unit to boil some water really fast, put some Vienna sausages in it, do some pasta in it, do soup if you like soup. I can't stand soup, but if that's your thing, make a tea, make a coffee, that's your guy. My go-to if I wanna do something in a hurry. I've had this for maybe eight years, always comes with me. Everything I've spoken about so far, I have trialed and tested myself. This is probably the most tested thing and the most abused thing that I've used out of all the products. Normally, I would use the extremes. For the everyday four wheel driver, if you got them a set of the MK2s as a gift for Christmas, birthday, Father's Day, Mother's Day, whatever it is, this will not disappoint. They may never need them, but they're there as insurance. It's like people buying a winch. I would get something like this over a winch any day because this usually comes out before anything else and can be used in conjunction with a winch. These are the MK2s. You can't go wrong with these. And that is another item I don't leave home without. Although they're at extremes, I sometimes have the MK2s wedged in between them as well. We're back where we started. And to save you guys from buying absolute rubbish. This is a genuine military Australian army trenching shovel. It is robust. I have dug into stone, dug into hard clay, sand, multiple recoveries with this thing. It is so versatile. The problem is you can't buy this. You can only buy it as second hand on Gumtree if you're lucky to find one. Often you can find them as vintage. If you can pick one of these up for like 50, 80 bucks, you are on an awesome thing. You can get imitation ones though, and that is what I'm talking about. I would never ever buy again. I've had imitation shovels sent to me. I've had imitation shovels that I've bought before in the past. They break, they don't last. They're gonna frustrate you when you need them the most. When you're doing the hard digging or you're trying to get your vehicle out of a bog or you're trying to just go to the toilet, there's nothing more frustrating than something that's gonna break on you or bend. This does not bend to anyone. And it's a good paper holder. There you have it, folks. That was 10 items plus the bonus one. Now, I wish you luck in finding that bonus one. It is so good. It's such a good tool. Gumtree, Facebook Market, or whatever it is that you look for secondhand items on. If you can find it, grab it. I hope that list helps. Maybe some gift ideas or maybe some stuff for yourself. I'm going to hit the tracks, and I'll see you next time.